Hi everybody, welcome back to another episode of Wildman and today we're back at the shelter and I'm just going to create a barrier just in front of the shelter just to stop the wind coming in and uh, any sort of rain that's coming in that way as well uh, We've got some insulation on the roof done with some pine trees that we managed to find uh, I think it was actually a tree that fell over during the night because it's quite fresh We have had some, some high winds recently so yeah, what we're going to do is make a channel in the ground first because the ground's very uneven and it just means that the, the wall's going to be situated a lot easier. So just using the back of my axe, I'm just going to create a channel here. Just get rid of any loose stuff that, loose stuff that we can't. So we've got the channel dug in the ground now, uh, just to even it off a little bit. So we're going to get long sticks and put a, a point at the end and chap those into the ground and then we just stack the logs up in between the pegs and it's just to create a wall.
So as you can see here, I've got the, the two pegs in place there and two at the other end as well. And then you just run some logs, one in the bottom there, one in top, and then another and another. And it's just as simple as that. And that creates a wall. At the top, where the two pegs meet, you can also tie a bit of cordage just to keep it more secure. Uh, but it all just depends on how, how sturdy the, the setup is to, to begin with.
So that's the wall there. As you can see, the pegs are all pegged in place. Two just there for any longer pieces. That should be really sturdy. So that's the wall looking quite good now. It's getting there. And all this kind of loose stuff that's inside, inside the shelter, we need to do something with this. Instead of just picking it up and throwing it away, we're going to try and compact it into this wall, just insulate it a wee bit more. So shelter's looking pretty good, in my opinion, nice and cosy, uh, as soon as we've got a fire built here that will just trap all the heat in here, the, my only concern is the this little part here needs to be closed up, it's just the, the slats that run along the roof, they can't really, it's just the way everything's sitting it just can't really butt up against this, uh, this big root here. So I'm going to need to get some sort of greenery, some sort of foliage and just, just stuff it in that corner. a lot better. No gaps, or if there is, it's not much. We'll do just now. Another important thing as well is when you're building a shelter it's not gonna it's not gonna happen straight away. There's gonna be um, wee parts that you're gonna need to go back to at a later date. With building a shelter it's a 
it's a long process, it doesn't happen in one day. Of course the, the initial the initial structure can happen in one day and, and you can make it watertight in one day. A bit of time and patience. So I'm glad that glad that's been done today. So you've just watched me build the the wall there and I might not have went in, into too much detail so I'll just run through it quickly here So first of all we put some, we just made a point at the end of some sticks chapped them into the ground, one there and one on the other side as you can see So I put some in the middle there too some at the end and then in between the sticks I just ran some logs and then just stacked them up It's really really simple design um, you can also here you can also use some cordage to tie those sticks together it just adds more strength to it but it doesn't this one doesn't really need it it's quite stable as it is um, but if I was to do that I would just dig up some roots and use some some roots for that so yeah it's a really simple design people think it's it's complicated but it's not as soon as you start working with it you'll realize how easy this method is and if I was to build a wall in any environment this is how I would do it. And then over here we've just uh, some just then there's a little gap there where I've kind of stacked kind of staggered the, the sticks up and I've just slotted some um, some dirt some sticks some greenery just anything I could pick up off the ground and just stuffed it right in there just to give it a bit more strength and stability a little bit more insulation as well. So that's the shelter built. Uh, I wouldn't say it's the it's the finished article, but it's livable. You can live in it. Um, each day I come up here, I'm going to add a little bit to it, but at least that's the main structure done, and it's it's semi watertight. Um, I guess we'll see if that is true when it starts raining. But yeah, I mean it's been very hard filming this video uh, because I like to just get on and do the work. And, and start building so to film it it was quite tricky the terrain isn't very very good for filming in either and I broke my stand my camera stand broke when it's two of its legs broke off so so yeah anyway thank you very much for watching I really appreciate that and if you've any questions at all just get in touch and I'll and I'll answer them straight away anyway I hope to see you in the next video take care